हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर प्रियंका चंद्रा असिस्टेंट क्यूरेटर फ्रॉम भारत कला भवन बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द मॉड्यूल प्री हिस्ट्री पैलोलिथिक कल्चर मेजोलिथिक कल्चर न्यूलिथिक कल्चर एंड आर्ट पेंटिंग्स पेंटेड ऑन द वॉल ऑफ केव्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड इन इंडिया अंडर द पेपर women theater and fine arts so in this paper it is uh, we will try to understand how and why women acquired a special position during this prehistoric period because these people were illiterate they don't we, they don't have language they don't have uh, knowledge but still they give women a specific and special position in their society archaeologists have identified four basic type of stone age art as follows petroglyphics that is couples rock carving and engravings pictograph that is pictographical ima- imagery ido idiomorphs and ideograms or symbols a category that include cave painting and drawing and prehistoric sculptures including small totemic statues known as venus figurines various forms of zoomorphic and other anthropomorphic ivory carving and relief sculptures and megalithic art that is petro forms and other works associated with arrangements of stones artworks that are applied to an immovable rock surface are classified as peripheral art works that are portable and classified as mobility art in the presented present module, module we come to know about the contribution of women in the society even we will investigate the depiction of women in cave painting of different regions of the world women are generally found depicted in dancing mode in a series the most popular forms is the mother goddess is there any other form in which women are found to be depicted this should also worthwhile to know that whether women were involved in making the paintings or it was done by men only there are few questions which will be discussed in detail in this module before going to going to in the topic the climatic condition and cultural patterns during protohistoric period was totally different therefore there is a need to know about it this will help to indi- investigate the facts better the earliest forms of prehistoric art are extremely primitive the couple for instance a mysterious type of paleolithic culture making amounts to no more than a hemispherical or cup like scoring of the rock surface the early sculptures known as the venus of tantan and berekat ram are such crude representations of humanoid shapes that some expert doubt whether they are works of art at all it is not until the upper paleolithic that automatically modern man produce recognizable carving and pictures agrarian culture in particular witnesses an explosion of rock art including the el castillo cave paintings the monochrome cave murals at chovet the lion man of Holocene stedel the venus of holfels the animal carving of the 
Sovian Jura, Aboriginal rock art from Australia, and much more. The later Gravitian and Magdalenian culture gave birth to even more sophisticated versions of prehistoric art, notably the polychrome drapel horse of Peck, Merle, and sensational cave paintings at Luxus and Altamira. So, prehistoric period, it is divided into three parts. We know that it is a longest phase of Stone Age culture known as Paleolithic period, a hunter-gatherer culture which is usually divided into three parts. Lower Paleolithic culture, Middle Paleolithic culture and Upper Paleolithic culture. So, after this time, a transitional phase called the Mesolithic period, sometimes known as Epipaleolithic, ending with the spread of agriculture, followed by Neolithic period and New Stone Age, which witnessed the establishment of permanent settlements. The Stone Age end as stone tool become sub superseded by new product of bronze and iron metallurgy and is followed by Age and Iron Age. So all periods that have been discussed in the module are approximate. Dates for the specific cultures are given as a rough guide only as disagreement persists as to classification, terminology and chronology. In historic art, sculptures in stone and metal, mainly religious, has survived the Indian climate better than the media and provides most of the best remains. Many of the most important ancient finds that are not in carved stone come from surroundings region rather than India itself. Indian funeral and Philosophic traditions exclude grave goods, which are a main source of ancient art in other culture. So, the Paleolithic era is characterized by a stone state subsistence culture and the evolution of the human species from primitive Australopithecus via Homo erectus and Homo sapiens to automatically modern humans. Stone Ages and Concerned Cultures, Lower Paleolithic, which is divided into three parts, Old Oan Culture, Acheulean Culture, Clactonian Culture, then Middle Paleolithic, which is again divided into two parts, Mosterian Culture and Levelois Flake Tool Culture. Upper Paleolithic, that is Origation Culture, Perigordian Culture, Gravitian culture, Solitarian culture, and Magdalenian culture. Neither Perigordian nor Solitarian culture as are strongly associated with artistic achievements. Artworks created during their eras are believed to have been influenced by the other cultures. Mesolithic era. This era joins the Ice Age culture of the Upper Paleolithic with the ice-free framing culture of the Neolithic. It is characterized by more advanced hunter-gathering, fishing and rudimentary forms of cultivation. Neolithic era. This era is characterized by framing domestications of animals, settled communities, and the emergence of important ancient civilizations like Sumerian, Egyptian, portable art and monumental architectures dominate. Human evolution from access to art. This always haunts to scholars that how did prehistoric man manage to leave behind such a rich cultural heritage of rock art? This may happen by developing a bigger and more sophisticated brain. Brain performance is directly associated with a number of higher functions such as a language and creative expressions. 
द कॉन्शियसनेस अमंग मोस्ट पेलियोनोटोलॉजिस्ट एंड पेलियो एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट इज दैट द ह्यूमन स्पेशियस होमो स्प्लिट अवे फ्रॉम गोरिलाज इन एफ्रीका अबाउट एट मिलियन बी सी ई एंड फ्रॉम चिमपैनजीज नो लेटर देन फाइव मिलियन बी सी ई दिस डिस्कवरी ऑफ अ ह्यूमनॉइड स्कल डेटेड अबाउट सेवन मिलियन ईयर्स एगो मे इंडिकेट एन अर्लियर डाइवर्जेंस द वेरी अर्ली होमिनॉइड इंक्लूड स्पीशीज लाइक ऑस्ट्रेलोपिथिकस एफ्रेंसिस एंड पैरेंथोफिस रॉबस्टस अबाउट टू पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन ईयर्स बी सी ई सम ह्यूमन बिगेन टू मेक स्टोन टूल्स लाइक वेरी क्रूड चॉपर्स एंड हैंड एग्स एंड न्यूअर स्पीशीज लाइक होमो हैबिलिस एंड होमो रूडोलिफेंसिस इमर्ज बाय टू मिलियन ईयर्स ए गो बी सी ई मोर स्पीशीज ऑफ ह्यूमन अपियर्ड सच एज होमो इरेक्टस ड्यूरिंग द फॉलोइंग फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स होमो इरेक्टस स्प्रेड फ्रॉम एफ्रीका टू द मिडल ईस्ट एशिया एंड यूरोप बिटवीन वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन बी सी ई एंड फाइव लैक्स बी सी ई होमो इरेक्टस एंड अदर वेरियंट ऑफ ह्यूमन इंगेडर मोर हाईली डेवलप्ड टाइप ऑफ होमो नोन एज आर्क होमो सैपियंस इट वॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ दीज आर्क होमो सैपियंस स्पीशीज आर क्रिएटेड द भीम बैठका पेट्रोग्लैफ्स एंड कपल्स इन द ऑडिटोरियम केव सिचुएटेड एट भीम बैठका इन इंडिया एंड एट दाराकी चटन these couples are the oldest art on earth from 5000 bce onward these new types morphs into homo sapiens are exemplified by neanderthal men neanderthals had a brain size of about 1500 cc which is actually greater than today's modern men so clearly cranial capacity is not the only guide to intellect internal brain architecture is important too in all probability neanderthal sculptors created the famous figurines known as the venus of berekhat ram and the venus of tantan is as well as the ochre stone engraving at Bloomvos cave in South Africa and the couples at Dorjon rock shelter at La Ferrazie Finally about 1 lakh BC anatomically modern men emerge from somewhere in sub Sahara Africa and like the predecessors headed north reaching North Africa by about 70000 BC and becoming established in europe no later than the beginning of the upper paleolithic 40000 bce painters and sculptors belonging to modern men were responsible for the glorious cave paintings in france and the iberian peninsula as well as the miniature venus sculptures and the ivory carvings on the Sobinian Jura found in the caves of Honolulu. Traditionally, prehistoric paintings and sculptures is not classified as primitive art, a category which is usually reserved for later tribal art. Human evolution that is from axis to art. So how the from axis uh, to the art we can study in detail so traditionally this period is divided into three sub sections the lower paleolithic the middle paleolithic and the upper paleolithic each marking advance among different human culture in essence the paleolithic men lived sold by hunting and gathering while his successors during the later mesolithic and neolithic times developed 
system of agriculture and ultimately permanent settlements. Survival wasn't easy, not least because of the numerous adverse climatic changes. On four separate occasions of the north latitude experienced ice age culture ice age resulting in successive waves of freezing and throwing the triggering migrations or widespread death. In fact, the development of human culture during Paleolithic times was repeatedly and profoundly affected by environmental factors. So, Paleolithic human were food gatherer who depended on their subsistence on hunting wild animals, fishing and collecting berries, fruits and nuts. It wasn't until about 8000 BCE that more secure method of feeding were adopted. Stone tools were the instruments by which early man developed and progressed. All human culture is based on the dignity and brain power of our early ancestors in creating ever more sophisticated tools that enabled them to survive and prosper. After all, finite is merely a reflection of society and prehistoric societies were largely defined by the type of tool used. In fact, Paleolithic culture is charted and classified according to advancing the tool technologies. Incidentally, many of the earliest archaeological finds of Stone Age artifacts were made in France, thus French place name have long been used to chart the various Paleolithic subdivisions despite the huge regional differences that exist. The first stone tool Eoliths were made more than 2 million years ago, not just from stone but from all type of organic materials, wood, bone, ivory, antlers. However, most archaeological finds comprise more durable stone variety. The oldest human tool were simple stone choppers such as those unearthed at Oldway Gorge in Tanzania. According to paleoanthropologist, Paleolithic men produced four types of better and better tools. These were pebble tools with a single sharpened edge for cutting or chopping, bifacial tools like hand axe, flake tools, and blade tools. All types eventually came into use and New tool techniques were created to produce them with the older technique persisting as long as it was needed for a given purpose. The Lower Paleolithic Era This is the earliest period of the Paleolithic Age. It turns from the first appearance of men as a tool making mammal to the advent of important evolutionary and technological changes which mark the start of the Middle Paleolithic. It witnesses the emergence of three different tool-based culture, Oldowan culture, Shulian culture, Clactonian culture. In a sense, stone tools presented the art of this period, the key form of creative human expressions. Lower Paleolithic Tools, cultures. Oldowan culture. Oldowan describes the first stone tools used by prehistoric men of the Lower Paleolithic. Oldowan culture began about 2.5 million years ago, appearing first in the Ghana and Omo basins of Ethiopia. The key feature of Oldowan tool manufacture was the method of chopping stone to create a chopping or cutting edge. Most tools were fashioned using a single strike of one stone against another to create a sharp edged flake. 
Acheulean culture and art. Acheulean culture was the most important and dominant tool making tradition of the lower Paleolithic era throughout Africa and much of Asia and Europe. Named after the type site village of Saint Acheul in modern France, the associated with Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and Western Homo erectus Acheulean tool user with their signature style oval and pear shaped hand axe were the first human to expand successfully across Eurasia. Judging by the sophisticated design of these implements, it is no surprise that the earliest art by Stone Age men dated from Acheulean culture. Also, archaeologists now believe that Acheulean people were the first to experience fire. As a result of lightning, although amazingly it wasn't until about 8000 BCE that man learned exactly how to control it. Clactonian culture Clactonian describe a culture of European flint tool manufacturing or art associated with Homo erectus during dating from early period of interglacial period known as the Hoxanian, the Mendel race or Holocene interglacial. It was named after type site located in Clacton on Sea on the southeast coast of England and at Swancombe in Kent. The letter also provided evidence for the existence of a subspecies of Homo erectus known as Swan Comble men. Clectonial tools were sometimes notched, indicating they were attached to a handle or shaft. So we have to discuss Lower Paleolithic rock art in detail. The earliest recorded examples of human art were created during the Lower Paleolithic in the caves of rock shelters in central India. They considered of a number of petroglyphs, the ten couples and an engraving on grooves discovered during the 1990s in a quadrized rock shelter at Bhimbataka in central India. This rock art dates from at least 29,000 BC kind of. However, it may be turned out to be much older, 1700 BCE. Archaeological excavations from a second cave at Darakai Chattan in the same region are believed to be a similar age. The next oldest prehistoric art from the Lower Paleolithic comes almost at the end of period. Two primitive figurines. The Venus of Berekhat Ram found on the Golan Height and the Venus of Tenten discovered in Morocco were dated to between roughly 2 lakhs and 5 lakhs BC. Former is more ancient. So now we come to a Middle Paleolithic era. The Middle Paleolithic period is the second stage of the Paleolithic era as applied to European, African and Asia. The prominent Paleolithic culture was Mosterian, a flake tool industry largely categorized by the point and side scraper associated with Homo neanderthalensis. So this was not a period of great invention. Plain hand eggs, for instance, were still regularly employed, but major improvements were made in the basic process of tool making and in the range of proper utilization of manufactured implements towards the end of the period, Mosterian tool technology was enhanced by another culture known as Levalois, the practiced in North Africa and Middle East and as far 
a field as Siberia. Mosterian culture. The name Mosterian derives from the type site of Le Moster, a cave of the Dorjan region of southern France. Although the same technology was practiced across the unglacialized zone of Europe and also the Middle East and North Africa, tool from features a wide variety of specialized shape, including barbed and shattered edges. These new blade designs help to reduce the need of humans to use their teeth to perform certain tasks, thus contributing to a diminuting, contributing to a diminution of facial and jaw features among later humans. Middle Paleolithic art, one of the new work of art during dating from the Middle Paleolithic is the pair of ochre rock decorated with abstract crosshatch pattern found in the Blombos Cave east of Cape Town. They are one of the oldest examples of African art and have been dated to 70,000 BCE. After Blombos come the dike flow, actual engravings dated to 60,000 BCE. It is probable that towards the end of Upper Paleolithic, human artists began producing primitive forms of ocean art in the southwest Pacific area and very early types of tribal art throughout Africa and Asia, although little has survived. See also the sculptures at La Frase Neanderthal Caves in France. The Upper Paleolithic is the final and shortest stage of the Paleolithic Age, less than 15% of the length of preceding Middle Paleolithic period. When referring to Africa, it is more commonly known as the Late Stone Age. In addition to more specialized tools and a more sophisticated way of life, Upper Paleolithic culture swept the first widespread appearance of human painting and sculptures, which appear simultaneously in almost every corner of the globe. Also, from the start of the Upper Paleolithic period, the Neanderthal men, subspecies of Homo sapiens, was replaced by automatically modern humans, who became the sole humanoid inhabitants across continental Europe, but sea of See, for instance, the Neanderthal engraving at Gorham Cave, Gibraltar. During the solitary period, prehistoric painters began work in their magnificent polychrome images of horses, bulls, and other animals in the Laxus Cave and the Spanish Cantabrian Cave of La Persesia. Magdalenian cave painting is well represented by polychrome images of bison and deer at Altamira cave in Spain. The reindeer picture on antler found at the French Lautrette cave, the painting engravings at Front de Gome cave, the black painting of mammoths at Rafik the red and black painting in the Tito Bustlo and the Russian Kapova cave paintings in Baskosran. In Australia, the oldest cave art is the Narwala Gabernmag charcoal drawing in Arhan Land, Northern Territory, which is carbon dated to 26,000 BCE. The Kunalan cave art dated to 18,000 BCE, while the figurative Bradshaw painting have been carbon dated to 15,500 BCE. In Africa, the animal figure painted in charcoal and red ochre on the Apollo 11 stone in Namibia date from 25,500 BCE 
while the americans the hand stencil image in the cuba de las manos in argentina date from around 9500 bce upper paleolithic rock engraving upper paleolithic rock engraving is exemplified by the following sites abri castent goshe d dexix olivertil gothic cave coser cave la pelas cave rock desier laxus cave torsis ferris cave etc further field aboriginal rock art begin in the north of australia where the first modern human arrived from southeast asia ubrir rock art and kimberley rock art are both believed to be date from as early as 30000 bce as are the ancient brap peninsula rock engravings in the palibra western australia all these australian paleolithic site are famous for their open air engraving drawings where almost all the european engravings were created inside caves the leading exceptions begin the coa valley engravings portugal the mesolithic period is a transitional era between the ice affected hunter gatherer culture of the upper paleolithic and the framing farming culture of the neolithic the greater the effect of the retreating ice on the environment of a region the longer the mesolithic era lasted so in areas with no ice people transitions quite rapidly from hunting gathering to agriculture the mesolithic period was therefore short and often referred to as the epipaleolithic or epipaleolithic culture by comparison in area undergoing the change from ice to no ice the mesolithic era and its culture lasted much longer the term mesolithic is no longer used denote a worldwide period in the evolution of european culture evolution instead it describes only the situation of northwestern europe European Mesolithic humans archaeological discoveries of mesolithic remains bear witness to great variety of races these included azilian often men several later type of cro-magnon man types of brassophilic human and type of dolly fenlic human european mesolithic culture as the ice disappeared to be replaced by grassland and forest mobility and flexibility became more important in the hunting and acquisition of food as a result mesolithic culture are characterized by small lighter flint tool quantities of fishing tackle stone edges bow and arrows very gradually at least in europe hunting and fishing was superseded by farming and domestication of animals the three main european mesolithic cultures are azilian transitional and magdalenian azilian was a stone industry largely microlithic associated with often men tradinian associated with tradinian men reduce small flint blade and small flint implements with geometrical shapes together with bone harpoons using flint flake and barbs megalomosian was a bone and horn culture producing flint scrapers bores and cord axes mesolithic rock art reflects the arrival of new living conditions and hunting practices caused by the disappearance of the great herds of animals from spain to france at the end of the ice age forest 
now clock and landscape necessitating more careful and cooperative hunting arrangements european mesolithic rock art gives more space to human figures and it is characterized by keener observation and greater narratives in the paintings also because of the warmer weather it moves from cave to outdoor sites in numerous locations so mesolithic culture have a famous uh, uh, rock art paintings famous work of art we can see in the image the sticky figures the female figure is made by a uh, sticky lines so the new the neolithic era saw a fundamental changes in the lifestyle throughout the world out went the primitive semi nomadic style of hunting and gathering food came a uh, much more settled from the existence based on framing and rearing of domesticated animals neolithic culture was characterized by stone tools shaped by polishing or grinding and farming domesticated animals and led directly to a growth in crafts like pottery and weaving all these begin around 9000 bce in the villages of southern asia from where it spread to the chinese interior uh, neolithic art in china and also in the fertile crescent of the tigris and euphrates in the middle east before spreading to india europe and americas the establishment of settled community the triggered a variety of new activities notably a rapid stimulation of trade the construction of trading vehicle mainly boats now forms the social organization along with the growth of religious belief and associated ceremonies and due to improvements in food supply and environmental control the population rapidly increase for 10 of millennia before the advent of agriculture the total human population had varied between 5 million and 8 million by 400 bce 4000 bce after less than 5000 years of farming numbers has risen to 65 million in general the more settled and better resourced the region the more art it produced so it was the neolithic art which branched out in several different directions and although most ancient art remained essentially functional in nature there was a greater focus on ornamentation and decorations during neolithic period here we can see a scene of a hunting practices by prehistoric men the animal and women figure can be seen closely on the wall of a cave again in the next scene we can see a prehistoric uh, dancing scene in which we can see women are shown dancing so three or four figure one small image and a big image of a female figure are shown dancing and they are depicted on a wall of a cave this is another image from the cave of bimbataka in madhya pradesh on which we can see the various human figures prominently women we can see on the painted on the wall of the cave the only painting in the caves showing a man being hunted by beast or horde boar as we come to know that in such a terrific climatic condition the people of prehistoric age were survived they were hunter gatherer and very good artist also this is proved by their artworks found inside the caves 
we have no idea that who made these paintings male or female artist is still a question of debate we have still these kind of paintings can be seen on the village area in india in the tribal villages we can see these uh, artworks so mother goddesses in cave paintings as well as the sculptures of stone and bones are enough for accepting their holy position in the society they were worship because the women have the power to create a life she was accepted as divine this is significant that we found the sculptures of pregnant women from prehistoric society so another uh, house decorated by a woman in the sonbhadra region of madhya pradesh so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module the the entire study justifies the facts this was power which make a difference between men and a women this should be noticed that the tribal community of our country is still living the life of prehistoric age the scholars of ethno archaeology are working on their cultural and social life a scholar from jawarlal university professor indrani chatopadhyay is still working in the area of sonbhadra up in such community therefore it may be concluded as the prehistoric art of india includes carving engraving and paintings it is estimated there are about 1300 rock art site with over a quarter of million figure and figurines dr v s bakankar discovered several painted rock shelters in central india situated around vindhyan mountain range so the depiction of communal dances birds musical instruments mother and children pregnant women men carrying dead animals drinking and burials appear uh, in rhythmic movement belongs to mesolithic period women had been extraordinarily feature of giving birth which provides it a special position in indian art during this time period thank you